even after their decades of work helped to save millions of lives, for these two scientists, an early morning phone call from the Nobel Committee seemed too good to be true. And we said, you know, th th this has to be a prank. Some, some anti-vaxxer is, 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 you know, playing with us. It was no joke. Long before COVID-19 prompted urgent demand for messenger RNA vaccines, Catalin Carrico and Drew Weissman knew the technology showed promise. Their breakthrough earned them prizes before, but none as prestigious as this one. So this year's Nobel Prize recognizes their basic science discovery that fundamentally changed our understanding of how mRNA interacts with the immune system. A Hungarian-born biochemist raised in a home with no running water, Carrico started researching RNA in the 80s, but struggled to find funding or even much interest, until a chance meeting at a university photocopier in 97 led her to Wiseman. I brag about uh, that I can do RNA, and Drew was interested in vaccines, and that's how our collaboration started. We spent the rest of, I don't know, 20 plus years working together, figuring out how to get it to work. Those mRNA COVID shots give the immune system genetic code, teaching it how to destroy a virus. Carrico and Weissman discovered how to get that code through immune defenses. You know, you can't have a better example of how something became useful for the whole world. The Nobel Committee credits the breakthrough for blunting the pandemic, and experts suspect the feat can be repeated to fight allergies or even cancer. I hope that these technologies and the recognition by the Nobel Committee of these technologies is going to, for the public, make it apparent how incredible these technologies are. They made a molecular-sized discovery with a massive impact, poised to save lives for generations. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.